Hello! I'm hoping that I have some people coming today to watch me share my cruise swap. I'm going to stamp a card today for our Monday stamp and share. So I'm if you're joining in. Hi, I'm Rachel Tessman. I'm here for the Monday Fun Day stamp and share. And today's card is going to be my swap for the cruise. I'm going on a cruise. Thank, thanks to Stampin' Up, my customers, my my team, my family and friends, fellow demonstrators, um, and I'm so excited. I'm leaving in just a couple days, and this is going to be the swap that I'm going to do for the cruise. Thank you. It's nice to see you guys. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to demonstrate this card today. It's using the Swirly Bird stamp set and the Swirly Scribbles, hi, Colorado, and the Swirly Scribbles um, dies, the framelets, so, or thinlets, I think they're called. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, turn the camera around here shortly, but let me tell you that last week we had some people swipe um, their screen and either swipe right or swipe up and then they shared, hi, it's Minnesota, Ohio, oh, New Jersey, there's Kim and South Car Cal Carolina or Cal oh, California. Anyways, and there's Tracy. <laughs> um, but we had lots of people share last time, so thank you. Please share this time as well because you can get in on the next prize this was the prize that we were um we were trying to uh share to win last time it's the in color markers that are leaving us boo hoo that includes though the blackberry bliss gotta love it i know <laughs> you and Joe. You guys got to come on the cruise. Anyways, that's my friend. Oh, I miss you guys. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate this card, but let's first draw for a winner from last week's Periscope broadcast where we shared to win. Who's it going to be? Let's see if we can aim this down. Hang on. Can you see? Can you see? I'm mixing them all up. And there's one that got loose. Okay. The winner this time, who is it gonna be? All right, let's see who we got. Oh, I can't open it with one hand. <laughs> oh, look at here's our winner, me and Mustang. So congratulations to you. Yay. Now the, the prize for next time, let's congratulate her or him, don't know. The prize for next time is going to be, like, hold on, I gotta block some people here. We got some some people coming in here who are kind of strange. <laughs> we don't want them on our broadcast. Anyways, here's the next prize. It is going to be, let me read it because I don't remember the name, Artisan Embellish, Embellishment Kit, plus you could win also some of the Dazzling Details Clear Glitter Glue. Gotta love that stuff. So I hope that you are sharing this broadcast, okay? So let me flip the screen around. All right, let's put you down here on the table so we can start demonstrating. Yay! And I love the hearts coming in. Okay, so this is the card that I'm doing for my cruise swap. And I'm also doing a 3D swap, but I, I'm not sharing that today. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. So we're using the Swirly Bird stamp set, and this is what that looks like. You're going to find lots of great ideas from this stamp set because... What's that? <laughs> Carolyn, um, Joe says that you can fed. Oh, <laughs> love it. Love it. Yes, I would love to FedEx you some tickets. My mom and dad are going on this cruise too. So um, I don't think you've met them. You would have been able to meet them. Anyways, back to what we're doing. <laughs> the Swirly Bird stamp set is going to have some great, great ideas out there on the internet. I just know that people are going to turn these images around and they're going to do out-of-the-box ideas. It's going to be great. So look for the Swirly Bird stamp set samples all over Pinterest and you know do Google searches for it. We're also going to be using a phrase from the ever-popular One Big Meaning. And then I have the alternate card idea using the happy birthday from the Rose Wonder stamp set right there. So those are the three stamp sets that you could use to make this card. And this stamp set is new. It's going to be in the, um, the upcoming 2016 through 17 annual catalog. And it coordinates with this set of thinlet dies. These are the swirly scribbles. So... Here we go for this card. And I hope you're sharing this broadcast so you have a chance to win. Oh, what do we get a chance to win, Rachel? 
we get a chance to win the Artisan Embellishment Kit. And yes, it's pre-order product. You're right. Sorry, somebody had a question. Pre-order product, but I, um, I pre-ordered it, of course, but you can all get it on June 1st if you are not demonstrators. So again, back to what we're, we're sharing um, or what we're going to win next time if you share this broadcast. So the Artisan Embellishment Kit and the Dazzling Details. Those two things go together if you share this broadcast. I am using the um, cardstock that is shimmery. It's called our Shimmery White cardstock. And I'm not sure with the lighting if you'd be able to see the glittery little glow there. Can you see it? I think that we got some hearts there. Yay! I know. I love this. How to share again? You want to swipe your screen, um, either right if you're using, an, I think, an iPhone, or up if you're using an Android. And then you can, um, you can also hit that little button, that, that little person button down in the bottom. And those are different ways that you can share the broadcast. Someone asked that. Sorry. Okay. And then we're also going to use a smaller little piece of this cardstock. And this piece is... I want to say, hang on a minute, I got to measure it. It is four and three fourths by three and a half. That way you can get five of these from one eight and a half by 11 sheet. The other sheet, by the way, is a half a sheet of cardstock that's been folded in half. I love the shimmery white. I don't use it quite as often because it's a little more on the pricey side, but it is gorgeous. This is our peekaboo peach color. It's one of our new in colors. And of course, there's the stamp pad. So this piece is slightly larger than the, um, the smaller shimmery white that I just used. And that one is just over four and three fourths. So this one would be four and seven eighths, four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And then the other piece of cardstock um, is going to be another piece of shimmery white. And this one is four and a quarter by one and a quarter. We're going to use some specialty paper, and it's our silver foil sheets. And I've already pre-cut that because I want to make sure that this broadcast doesn't take too long today. Oh, you like my sleeves? I know. You know what? I'm in Minnesota, and we do have weather that's turning warmer now again. But I am such a cold person all the time. I'm just always freezing. So, plus I'm in kind of a half basement, so I'm cold. Anyways, yeah, I've got the sleeves on. <laughs> um... Then we, so I've die cut this piece already with this thinlet from the set. And if you look at it, you've got a bunch of different swirly thinlets in here. So you can be die cutting all different sizes if you get this, this set of thinlets. I, I love it because it gives us that look of the, the silver thread or the twine that has been wrapped around it um, and in the back and then and tacked behind. And it just looks so pretty. It's very trendy. You're always hot in Florida. Someone said it's always hot in Florida. Yeah, I know. You know, we're never quite totally happy, are we? I do love living in Minnesota, though, because when we do have those wonderful days, we really appreciate it. <laughs> so let's get started. We've got our stamps ready to go. So let's go ahead and take this piece first. And we're going to stamp just using kind of a monochromatic look. So I'm going to use the basic black archival pad. And we'll open that up. And I've got my stamp. This is the little polka dots. Oh, I love this little background piece right here. Little polka dots. Okay, so we'll stamp that down in the upper left corner and the lower right corner. So it's kind of spraying across. And you know what? That didn't stamp very hard. So I'm going to flip it over. We always get two chances, don't we? <laughs> All right, let's try that again. One and two. Yay! It worked this time. Then we've got our tiny little flower, and that's also in the Swirly Scribbles set. Isn't it the best? The scribbles and the dots from the set. So this one we're just going to kind of put randomly up here, a couple of them going off like that, and then this one down in the corner, like so. Ta-da! Okay, the last thing that we will stamp for the card is the, the greeting. First, I want to punch it though. So I'm going to use our banner triple punch and I'm just going to slide that in. And I didn't cut it to the sizes that are kind of assigned to this punch. This is one inch 
and this is one and a half. I'm laughing at what you just said. You would have ink all over your sleeves, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some people are a little, a little more, um, I don't know, energetic when they stamp. I'm kind of, I'm kind of one of those people that doesn't get ink on myself. <laughs> so, so anyways, that's how you punch it. You don't even have to worry about the little guides there. You can just make sure it's centered as you punch. Okay. So now we've got the end punch, and you always want to punch your end before you um, stamp. Yeah. I, you know, I might get klutzy when I'm on broadcasting live though. So I, I better not uh, say that I never get ink on my sleeves because it might happen today. Okay. So let me center this. All right. Hopefully it's in the right spot. Yay. It worked. And then the next step is to take our bone folder and I'm starting to get a big pile of stuff here all over the place. We're going to close up these pads right now so that we do not get any ink on our sleeves. <laughs> okay, there. They're out of the way. All right. So now we're going to curl with our bone folder. And to do that, and thank you, by the way, for sharing. Some of you have been sharing already. To do that, you're going to take your thumb and the bone folder, and you're going to put the paper between. And then you're going to curve up and around like that. Then to get this one to go the other way, you're gonna flip your paper, and you're gonna start just kind of halfway in and do the same thing. <laughs> it is easy to make a mess, I know. But paper crafters love to craft, and if we make messes, that's okay. If we're neat freaks, that's okay too. We're all, we're all uh, loving what we do. Do we have any new paper crafters out there? Anybody that does not, has not stamped before? I would love to hear from you if you have not stamped before. Okay, so now we've got that con con um, connected to our layer, our peekaboo peach layer, and then we're gonna add that to the front of our card base. We're just using snail adhesive, little strips of it here and there, and it attaches just like that. Now this piece here, notice there's a little, little ridge there I'm not sure, you know what, someone just asked how you swipe and share for an iPad. I'm not sure, I'm guessing it is the same way as an iPhone if you swipe to the right. But I don't own an iPad, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how to answer that. If anyone knows how to answer that, go ahead and answer that for him or her. Okay, I had some, um, hang on, I gotta get something. I gotta get uh, dimensionals. <laughs> just turning around here. Okay, there we go. So to get the little thing to attach so that you still have this little bump here, we're going to use dimensionals. And we're not even going to attach this thing separately. We're going to use the dimensionals to hold it down. So watch as how easy this is. This is super easy. So you're going to take one and put it there and one and put it there. And now you have gotten, you've got the uh, little bumps up there like that. And this just goes like so. And now you have that dimension in there automatically. So super easy. These were super easy swaps to make. I cannot tell you. The last part of the swap that we need to do now is the ribbon. And this is our ruched ribbon. It's new ribbon. It comes in the new in colors. This is the peekaboo peach. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. And we just put that on with a glue dot. So all I did was tie a little knot. And if you're not sure how to do that, how to tie the knots, it's super simple. I do have a video on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, on tying knots. So all you do is take and go over, bring it through. And the trick is not to twist your ribbon. So you see how it's kind of like flat the whole way. I can make it flat. And then you want to tuck your finger underneath here and underneath here to keep it like nice and uh, fluffy. There we go, and you, you don't tie it tight, you just gradually bring it together and you can kind of adjust it as you go. And then you grab your scissors, your nice sharp scissors, which I already have in front of me. And you can go like that, and like that. Kind of a little angle. And that's how you get that easy little knot. It's super easy. So yeah, check out the YouTube channel. Um, my uh, YouTube channel, I believe, is under my name. Rachel Tessman, but anyways, you can do a little search for it. And I have a video that's way, way down in the archives of it on tying phobos and knots. It's a great one. 
speaking of going to find my YouTube channel or, or my, my channels or whatever, I want you to go to my blog because if you are not subscribed to my blog and then subscribe to my newsletter list, you're not going to be able to get in on all the fun things that I share. I share at least three times a week um, on my blog and I also share with videos, of course, as you can see. But I'm going to be doing a product share soon. So papers and ribbons, if you want to get in on that, that's going to be shared real soon with my, uh, via a newsletter, okay? So you'll want to get in on those. Um, let me turn the cam, oh wait, one more time before I turn the camera around back to me. Share the broadcast because if you share this broadcast, you could win, you could get a chance to win the, or you have a chance to win the Artisan Embellishment Kit and then this Dazzling Details. So I'd love for you to share. Even if you don't want to win the prize, thank you for sharing um, because it gets me more viewers on, on Periscope. Let me take you off the stand here and turn you around. So thank you again for coming. I hope that uh, you enjoyed that little video. It was a quick, easy card to do. Thank you, Tracy. I will, I'm sure I'm going to have a great time on the, on the cruise. And because of that little note that she just said, we are not going to be doing the Monday Funday Stampin' Shares for two weeks. So if you shared this broadcast, you won't know for three weeks if you won or not, because I'm going to come back on June 6th. I won't be doing my um, shares. Thank you, everyone. I won't be doing my shares on the 23rd and the 30th of May. I'm going to be vacationing and relaxing and and then on the 30th recovering <laughs> so um thank you all for coming i think i'm gonna say goodbye and i hope that you had a great time thank you bye you guys